Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Ultimate Fishing Simulator, the playtest. And uh, in this video, I'm going to give you guys some beginner tips to get through the game at the start. Uh, because there is uh, a lot of bugs still in the game. And uh, at the start, it's not so easy. So I'm going to talk in this video about first the save problem. Then we are going to have a look at some mechanics that are not so good, but are at the moment not really a problem. Uh, then I'm going to show you guys the setup, how you need to put uh, your drag system up, because otherwise you break your shit, and that's not so fun. I'm going to talk about the, the quests. I'm going to show you guys a method how you can respawn fish only in, uh, in normal mode because I would stay away from realistic mode at this moment. Why? Because there is one big problem. Sometimes the fish just disappears. Uh, and that's very problematic because if you need to sit here for like hours and hours, you can reset it by leaving the place and come back. But I'm now fishing just in normal. Just going to do that until the game is a little bit more stable, until everything is in the place. And I would suggest that uh, yeah, everybody do that. Just start at normal because realistic mode at the moment is not so great. And uh, what I know is they are working on it. So that's a little bit my thing about it. Then I'm going to show you guys how you need to selfish. But first we are going to start with the save problem. I got that problem too. And that's a little bit holding me back from making more videos. Because what is happening? I can fish the entire day. Go to level 4-5. Uh, I reload or come back the day after it. And it's all my progress is gone. That's not fun. You can do it one, two times and then you stop playing the game. I can understand that. They put on the forum a workaround. I tried it, it did not work for me. Uh, so that's the big problem uh, that we got at the moment. They said Saturday they posted the workaround. They said it's going to take two to three days to solve this problem. So I hope that they will do it today or tomorrow. Uh, because otherwise, yeah, I'm not going to play that much anymore because I don't want to keep my computer always uh, on because yeah, energy is a waste, you know, just for that. So that's a little bit uh, some info on the save problem. So I hope I think two to three days later from Saturday is today or tomorrow. But for me, it's a long time it takes to, to fix that problem, to be honest. But let's hope that they fix it before Friday, because Friday we got another lake, you know. Uh, so let's get started now. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys something. So what did I saw in the first lake? And the first lake is the American lake. Uh, so what did I saw was that you can bobber fish, but the main problem is you need to go with worms and they are very expensive. Bread, I didn't get one fish on. So the main problem is that you most of the time it's possible that you don't make enough money with your worms to buy back worms. So I would suggest that you go with spinning until you got a little bit of money like me. So how does it work the spinning? And that's once again something very strange. So this is a spinning setup. And you guys see at the top right, uh, you see that I got now 147 meters. But if I throw this in the water... I just lost one meter of line. That's a system that they just need to get out of the game ASAP. That's si plain simple. Okay, I can understand that you want durability and all that stuff. But this is so bad executed. I never saw this. The guy that invented this, uh, it was not smart. If you want a durability system... Just start from 100% and just let it go down. Uh, I can understand that you always need to have some money sinks in games. But this is just, yeah, this is yeah not good at executed. Uh, it's not really a very big problem. Why it's not really a very big problem if you start? Because everything that you need to buy is for free. So I will show you guys it. So if you go to the shop... So the starting line is this, you can buy it back. So if you got spooled, uh, you can buy everything back. So there is never going to be a moment in the game that you cannot go back, uh, that you can uh, not go further in the game. 
So it's not like a fishing plant that you need to go to Lone Star. No, all the starting equipment you can get it back for free. So you never need to stop your progress or just start over again. So this is a starting line and you can get the... Uh, the let me have a look you can get the lures back to so if you go now to soft lures uh, yeah of course they are not here ah here they are okay so those two you can buy for free so if you get spooled get back the lure uh, and just put it on I got it already a couple of times and that's very important that you know that therefore lure fishing is better because with with the, the bobber fishing you cannot buy this for free so go lure fishing until you're a little bit higher and got more money. That's very important. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the drag system. Because there is not really a problem that you get spooled and break shit because you can't get it back. But if you got a very nice fish, you cannot get it in because the fish is gone. So I'm going to talk about the drag setting. I tested it, it works. I think it didn't work in the bed, but here it works. So how do you need to do it? So first of all, a golden rule in every fishing game is like this. So if you go to equipment, you will see you got a rod, you got the reel, you got the line, you got the leader here too, and you got a lure for uh for lure fishing so what is always important that uh the line is always the weakest link i'm not sure that you can break your rod here but the line need to be the weakest link why because it's less expensive to break a line uh, than uh, to break a reel or a rod that's the only reason if you like to break everything just make your rod the weakest link in kilogram and then you break always your rod or your reel. But normally you don't do that. You always take this as the weakest link of your setup. This is perfect. Uh, so you guys can see if I break, if I get spooled, you break your line. This is gone and this is gone. The leader, it's strange, it's not gone in this game. But normally this is gone too. So everything after it, it's gone if you break your shit. So... Now for the drag system. So how can you prevent that you get uh, yeah, uh, broken? I will call it that you break your shit. So how do you need to calculate it? So you will see here at the reel, you got 3 kilogram maximum drag. And in this game, it goes to 100%. And every time that you tap up and down, it's 10%. So that means that you get 10 settings on this reel. That means that every setting, so 10% is the, uh, 0 0.3 kilogram. 20% is like 0 0.6. So 10%, 0 0.3. And then always you need to go up until the maximum. But that's very important. Because otherwise you break your line. So I got now this line. And I will do something for you guys. I will equip the starting line. It's a lot easier. So here you can see on this line. I can put pressure on it. That is 0 0.78 kilograms. So that means that uh, I can go. Uh, so if you multiply it 2 times 0 0.3. It's 0 0.6. So I can go to 20%. If I go to 30%, I'm on 0 0.9 and the line will break. So with this setup, you need to put your drag on 20%. Otherwise, you always get uh, yeah, broken if you get a very big fish. So remember that and I will show you guys how this is implemented in... Uh, in fishing so you can see here that at the right therefore is normal mode important too and therefore i don't understand that people say that the reel is not important to see in realistic mode you're going to break your shit the entire time because you don't even know your drag setting that's how it is uh, so and uh, that's that's very problematic so you guys can see at the bottom right my drag is now at 40 percent but remember my drag need to be at 20%. But then the other problem starts once again. So if you go to help. I see here that my real drag is this. But that's not correct. So plus and minus is doing nothing for me. So I, I'm now pushing it. Do you guys see it? There is nothing changing. Because I got QWERTY. That's maybe the problem. 
and this is an Alzerti. What I see for the guys, no, uh, yeah, I'm using Alzerti and this is a Querti. You can see it here. For the guys that are using Alzerti, you need to use this uh, bottom here and this one, I think. And then you can put drag up and down. So this and this. So you guys will now see, I'm going to put now my drag to 20. Do you see it? It's not that easy to see. I put my drag now up on 20 because 30% is going to break my stuff. That's very important. So be sure that you do that. Now you are ready to fish. And if you buy, of course, as me, uh, the next line, the fight is going to go uh, less. So the time is less because I now got already another line. So I bought 1.3. That means that I can go to 40% and the fight is going to go faster. So... But try it a little bit, it's a lot, I know it, but do it because otherwise you break stuff. And if you uh, yeah, are away from the first gear and you break your stuff, it's not fun to lose a lure that is 20 currency or lures that are 300 currency. Therefore, I want to show you guys that in the beginner guide. Another thing, now we are going to start uh, with... Uh, with fishing in the first lake, so what did I saw? That sometimes the fish goes away even in normal mode, you can reset that. So what can you do? You can just exit the location. I will show you guys it. So exit the location and then you go back. In normal mode, I saw that the morning, in normal mode, you can switch around with the, the time. When you want to fish, what kind of weather you got. And I saw a morning clear sky works really well. So we are going to fish now on that moment. And I'm going to show you guys two very good positions and presentations that work. Uh, so because the presentation are not so good either. You can do straight a little bit of lift and drop. And that's the end of the story. Uh, so they need to work a little bit more on that too. But I guess it will come. I hope it will come. Otherwise it's a little bit silly. If you cannot do a stop and go with twitching and all that stuff. So first let's get started with the first good position. That's over here. Number five. Uh, yeah I'm already here. And then you go here to the right. You stand here. And this is a very good position. Most of the time. Uh. If you see some activity, that means there is fish sitting and most of the time you catch fish. That's a, a small indicator too. But it's not always needed to get fish. Because the two positions that I show you guys is not always active with visible fish. But still you are going to catch... There is one. Did you guys see it? Still you are going to catch some fish. So I'm using now this uh, twister. I'm not sure what it is. A kind of worm. A yellow one. It seems to work really well. So I'm not sure it's implemented in the game. But what do we always say? Uh, I think in games and in real life too. So if it is sunny. Try to go with bright colors. Like silver gold. If it is darker. Go with dark colors. So I'm fishing now on a sunny day. With a yellow. That's a very clear uh, yellow. So what do you need to do? Be sure that you are at 10 to 16% speed. Because the presentation that we do is just straight. That's the only one that works. I got the impression. So you just reel in. It's not so fun. But you need to have an indicator. So look at the right. My indicator is getting green. I think that's very important in this game. I think that the green is uh, making it easier that fish is biting. So just do this presentation. That's, it's not so fun, that's true. But, yeah, what can you do? You need to work with the things that you got at the moment. It's very slow. So, drag 20, speed 16. And let's hope that I can catch something. And when do you see when you got a bite? Uh, when your lure is going to turn around, then you see that you got a bite. So, we are going to do one more cast over here. So once again, here we go again. Sometimes it's possible that you don't get a fish. Try to go to the other position, reset again, exit the, the area and come back. Uh, it's, it's a workaround, but yeah, it's, it's how we need to work at the moment. Because it, it, it's not fun. It's not fun some things here. But yeah, it's a playtest still. And 
I see some positive things in this game because here we go. You strike, then you push control, go right away. And now you will see. Do you guys see what the drag system do, does? So if I go one click, I can do what I want. Full speed, pull like an idiot on this. And it's not going to break. If I go now to 30% drag, I will break my stuff. I'm not going to show you guys it. It takes a little bit of time. That's true. But I got in... in um, I got the impression that there is a fatigued system in this game. So just take your time, jerk a little bit, and here we go. So you guys will see it. Don't be scared. Go full out on this fish. Control full speed. Control is, by the way, 100% speed of the, the reel. So here we go. This is position number one. This is a good fish. If it is a Sokai, that's like a lot of experience. No, it's a rainbow trout. Let me have a look. It's a little bit less. So let's keep this fellow and uh, let's go to the other position that is really good. That's uh, at number one. It's under the bridge. You just come here. You throw in once again. Just the same presentation because there is no other presentation. You just reel in. Once again, green dot. Sometimes if you throw with the current, you will not get the green dot. That's... Uh, something that I saw it's it's a very cool system I need to say uh, so but yeah they need to make it a lot better of course because yeah if you need to fish every time if you spin fish like this yeah I think you will get really crazy in the head so this is a very good position too one more throw and then I'm going to show you guys something once again don't forget it it's the quest uh, so I didn't know that either until I start to look around a little bit because I was looking to the quest with F3. I saw all my quests were done and I thought by myself, where are my rewards? Did I already got a reward or something? I did no not know that. But it seems that you need to do this. Uh, so let's keep this fish. Uh, if you want to see the fish in photo mode, you need to push C by the way. Here you can see it. So it's it's in the help too. So let's keep this fellow. Uh, so the quests they are done. You guys can see it. But they are not executed. So how do you need to do it? That's once again a very bad uh, system that they put here. Just make it auto. Quest done. Get the reward. Put it on the screen. But here you need to exit the location. You need to... Yeah, don't spam me. You need to... Do quests and then here you can see your daily quest. So if I take now here the reward, here is the reward. Don't forget to do that because you guys can see this is like 30 currency that I got and I still got two to go. I didn't know that I was always fishing here and I was thinking, yeah, where are my rewards? And I didn't get them. Don't forget to put the skill points here too. So if you level up to level 2, you get a skill point. And another thing to end the video. How do you sell your fish? You come here. You open fishnet. And you can do three things with the fish that I got here. So you can put them in the aquarium. I will put this one in the aquarium. And I will show you guys uh, the aquarium really quick. Uh, and then you can add it to trophies. I will do these two trophies too. I will show you guys where the trophies are. You can show it in 3D. That's this. And then you can sell it. I'm going to sell it really quick. So where can you find your fish now? So you stay here. You go to your house. You click here. And then you got aquariums here. And normally they put it... I think let me have a look is it this one so if you hover over it you will see here are zero of ten fish here are zero of ten fish so my guess it's over here here is one of ten fish so there is my pickerel and you can feed this fish too so right click on it do you see the worms coming there are worms coming he already got one and if you left mouse button over it you see feed so that he got enough fo food you see lifetime they will grow and they get bigger so you get more uh, money for it i think that this system is at the moment uh, on real life that's once again not so good executed because that means if you go on a vacation all your fish dies 
so they need to fix it and they need to go to game time and not to real life time so let's give my buddy a little bit more worms i don't think that you are using the worms uh, by this because i had, had only 10 of them and i already throw 20 of them in this area so you can see how many worms that i can do the whole time uh, so where can you find the trophy to end the video uh, so this is trophy so where did my go trophy go i hope it's somewhere here I think I normally it need to be here at the wall, but it's possible that I misclicked or it did not want to put it on the wall. Is there another trophy room over here? Maybe here. So here is my pickerel. That's where you can find the trophy. So a small beginner's guide, guys. It was not small. It was 20 minutes, but everything is in it to not get fucked up at the start of this game. So just do that. You will be level three. I'm going now to level 3, three without uh, getting out of the game because I want to see the new uh, lake. Thanks for watching guys. Have fun. Give it some time. It's not a bad product at the moment. I see a lot of things that I like so it's not really that easy to get fish. I see uh, yeah, some, some systems that I like a lot. The skill system. Uh, the equipment is not so bad either but there is still a lot of work that they need to do. But I think if they fix their problems and uh, if they get uh, all the bugs out of the game, I think this is going to be a very fun fishing game. I didn't like Ultimate Fishing Simulator 1 that much, but this is not that game because they are other developers. I see a lot of similarities with professional fishing that those guys made and that was not a bad fishing game, but it was not finished. Just the same like this. So thanks for watching guys, have fun, bye bye.